What's up, man? It's your boy Josh X. I'm here chilling with my family. You know I got sold.com. They hold me down, go on the site, get acquainted with it. It's your boy Josh Pace. All right, Josh, so you're preparing to release your new mixtape, Everybody Hates Josh X. Mm -hmm. um, just talk about it. You know, what can we expect to find on there? Um, pretty much on a new mixtape, you know, you can expect to find some dope music. Um, you know, I like to keep the music, you know, updated, fresh. Um, you know, it's definitely a, a different type of vibe. You know, for my other mixtapes, it's more like original songs. Um, on my first two mixtapes, I did a lot of songs over the song, you know, tracks that were out. But, um, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm sure people are going to love it. You know, you yeah. can expect just fresh music and uh, to see where I'm kind of growing as an artist mm -hmm. and what stuff, you know, what's becoming of the music. Yeah. And, um, you know, talk about the title. Why does everyone hate Josh X? <laughs> oh, because Josh X was getting too much money out here. <laughs> and, uh, you know, I started, there was a little Twitter beef that I was involved in on uh, Singers Room. Uh, Singers oh, Room. okay. Yeah, they put me on uh, um, the top 30 uh, artists under 30. And um, I came top three after Lloyd, Trey Songz, Lloyd, and me. And uh, it was kind of crazy. There was a lot of beef, you know, uh, a couple of artists that was on that list was a little salty. Wow. And um, basically my fans were getting at some of the artist fans on the list and it, it was pretty crazy. And um, I took that and, and, and started to address the, you know, the every days of hate when you experience when you're coming up, you know. A lot of people that I was coming up with kind of feel that I came up too fast. Mm -hmm. And I started making, uh, you know, too much money, you know, yeah. started driving crazy cars. And, you know, when, when you start doing well, a lot of people tend to hate, you know, not everyone's happy for you. So, you know, I, I came up with that title with the Twitter beef and, yeah. the, you know, the real life hate. And I came up with everybody H. Josh X. April cool. 30th is coming out. It's cool. down. And, uh, you know, over the past few weeks, you've had some of the songs, you know, leak out. You you put them out there. Yeah. I want to ask you about a couple of them, talk about how they were created and all that. Yeah. Um, the first one is the song you had with Swiss Beats, Movie Star. Just yeah, talk about that, that. Yeah, Swiss is a dope cast, my homie, man. Um, we definitely we was in the studio. We was cooking that one up. And uh, Swiss came up with the concept, Movie Star. Um, he actually wrote the hook, and um, he was vibing. He was just like, "Yo, we just need something." You know, the girls want to, you know, they want to hear that slick talk. And um, we went on from there, man. We did, you know, he did the track, and um, you know, he, like I said, he wrote the hook, and I did the verses, and we just was vibing, and it, it came out. Cool. Definitely a dope record. Definitely. And you had the video recently for Take Two. Mm -hmm. um, talk about that one. Yeah, Take Two is for the, you know, straight for the shorties. You know, um, I wanted to give the girls something similar to like, you know. You know what a day, you know what the, you know what the second date is like when you with yeah. Josh. So you know the video is smooth. I used a lot of the crops that I own, like my car. Mm -hmm. You know the, the belly in the video was my car, and you know the the loft and the apartments, and we yeah. were just showing a you know the everyday situation when you with your you know with you with Josh. You mm -hmm. know what I mean? Yeah. So everything um definitely definitely a dope video. I like it. We gonna be going to TV with it a couple of oh, a cool. couple of days. So. I'm excited about that. Cool. And another one, and I really like this one, was Love Games with Jada Kiss. Oh, you like Talk about games? that one, yeah. Yeah, you know girls be wilding, man. Girls <laughs> in the studio, yep. complaining every time you're in the studio, you know, getting mad, thinking you with the groupies, and, the, you know, all that stuff, you know, takes place. So I definitely uh, was addressing a, a relationship, you know, past relationship. You know, I didn't want to play no more Love Games. Yeah. Definitely a dope record. And Jada, you know, that's the homie. That's the family right there. So he wanted to get on, and mm -hmm. he held me down. Can we put it out? Cool. Um, you know, I know last year you were building up some buzz with I Don't Care. You had a mm -hmm. few remixes out. Yeah. And then, um, you know, you kind of took some time off, I guess, or just weren't yeah. really in the spotlight for a while. Mm -hmm. um, just kind of talk about about that, you know, mm -hmm. and kind of like, you know, because I know people are waiting for your debut album. Mm -hmm. So, you know, just talk about that whole situation. Um, basically, I fired everybody that was working for me. Oh, you wow. Know <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Not Think Tank. Shout out to the big homie Think Tank. They're yeah. still on deck. But, uh, <laughs> I, I was going through the transition of just rebuilding the team. You know, I I really, I think my, for my first album, is, is you only got one shot to put your first album out. And I, and I want it to be perfect. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So I need everybody to understand the vision of it. And um, last year, we, you know, like you said, we was rocking and popping all over radio, you know. Waka Flocka, Ace yeah. everybody was on the song, and um, you know it was cool to see that. So I know that I know what I can do, yeah. you know, but I, I just want to make sure when I come out with that debut, it's it's just the right time. Yeah, you know, like I'm not putting it out until it's the right time. Yeah, does that get frustrating at times? You know, because I know I saw you perform at BB King's a few years ago, mm -hmm. first time I saw you live, and mm -hmm. then you were talking about the album. Then mm -hmm. a, few, a few years later, now mm -hmm. is it frustrating as an artist to have to you know kind of wait and kind of go mm -hmm. through these phases and, and things like that? No, it's not frustrating. You know, me being an artist that owns part of the label that I'm on, 
And, uh, you know, through Capitol Records, we, you know, it isn't frustrating because I get to be in the office and know what's right, what's wrong. A lot of artists, you know, they don't really have a choice. Mm -hmm. You know, they put their records out and the label throws them out there and they, you know, they're going to recoup that money. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. So, and if they flop, they're out of here. So, yeah. to me, it's good because, you know, right now I'm chilling. I, I want to uh -huh. make sure that when this record comes out, it's, it's definitely going to come out. And get the looks that it needs to get. So yeah. I'm not frustrated by it. I think it's a, I think it's actually a blessing that I have so much control of the situation like mm -hmm. that. That I can hold off on it. Yeah. And not be on a, a clock or a, you know have a big guy in the office like yo we putting this out whether yeah. you like it or not. So I think it's more of a blessing. Cool. And um, you know talk to me about your song first time because it seems like every time I see people on Twitter talking about Josh yeah, right. that they're talking they love that song they can't, can't get enough get of, it. Off of it. Man. Why why do people love that song so much in your opinion? I don't know maybe because Stevie Wonder was bopping with it. Yeah. I don't know <laughs> who knows man. It's like a it's like a gift and a curse because at the end of the day it's like I put out other songs and I'm trying to get the fans like yo check mm -hmm. this out. But that first time is always on their mind, and yeah. it, you know it's a good thing. But um, you know, why do they love it so much? I think because everyone can relate to that. You mm -hmm. know, I think especially for females, you know, the audience yeah. that it grabbed um a lot of girls, man, they just start reminiscing yeah. about their first time or they're about to experience their first time. Mm -hmm. And I think I hit a real, real good uh, topic. And um, you know, it's been done before, but I think how I how I did it, you know, breaking it down from the first steps to the you know, until you get to the business, you know yeah. what I'm saying? I think the girls really, they just can't get off. But I ain't mad, you know, yeah. as long as keep going to iTunes, keep buying that record and, 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 and spreading love. Because it's, um, it's definitely one of my biggest records. Cool. Definitely. And uh, just finally, you know, you got the mixtape coming out April 30th. Mm -hmm. um, and I know you do a lot of collaborations, a lot mm -hmm. of, you know, hooks for, for rappers. Mm -hmm. you know, just what, where can we expect to hear you on coming up in the future? Um, Jim Jones, we're going to put out the um, record I just did with Jim Jones uh, um, tomorrow. So y'all can hear okay. that tomorrow. It's, it's called A Life is a Party. We did it about two weeks ago. It's already on the radio. It's spinning, getting love right now. And uh, that's that's my, you know, collaboration that, you know, with the hip-hop artists that's coming out. Yeah. All right, cool. And uh, anything you'd like to add? Um, definitely, man. Just shout out to all the fans and everyone that's holding me down. You know, follow me on Twitter. You know, Josh Xanthus, Facebook, JoshXanthus.com, the whole movement. And uh, April 30th, everybody hates Josh X Drops. Look for that. It's coming out. It's going to be crazy.